Hello everyone. This week there, there are some major updates from, from Google uh, which will be exciting for most of the developers and uh, there's an update for, for uh, Flutter, there's an update for Dart. We'll be talking about fl for Dart in this session. So uh, now we have access to native code. So what is that? So Google has opened up FFI interface. So FFI uh, uh, library for us. Okay. So FFI is stands for uh, foreign function interface. Okay. So it is nothing but uh, native binding. Okay. So if you have already worked with uh, any JavaScript, then you might have, or even Python, if you have worked, uh, then you might be knowing what is binding, what what does binding means. And if you are coming from Java world, then you know what is J GNI, Java Native Interface. So same thing here. Uh, so through FFI, you can basically uh, access uh, native code exported uh, APIs. Okay. So suppose you have written any of the uh, any of your native library, right? Or you are uh, basically integrating some of any of the uh, complex library, whether it is for gaming or for any kind of algorithm, uh, whether it is uh, any machine learning uh, algorithm you have written, or you are porting from somewhere, integrating from somewhere uh, into, in, and you want to get uh, those features available in your Dart application. Uh, it could be your mobile or web or even desk, desktop, okay, uh, console-based application. So you want to get access of those native libraries. So you can, you can. Uh, you, you just need uh, uh, basically uh, exported uh, or the um, available API right in as part of the symbol table of those libraries and once that is available you can you can do that you can now interact uh, you can load that library and you can access those submitted calls okay so that's what it does and uh, FFI is uh, it, at its uh, early phase it is not completely mature but it was very much needed since long time people are waiting even i was waiting to uh, to get some update from google and uh, this is the one which excites though ffi is not new okay ffi as a as a, as a library for user is uh, is, is introduced newly but the uh, binding native binding is not new right so obviously many of the dart um, yeah, dart uh, implementations will depend on native in fact, many of the uh, Dart implementations are, are wrappers and the core implementations are in la native, whether it's C++ uh, code or uh, hardly some C code. So mainly those are in C++ uh, codes so, uh, or coding. So uh, uh, th those are, point, uh, and those are uh, provided with, uh, with, uh, with the native binding through uh, and those are being accessed through. Uh, Dart, um, Dart uh, program. Okay. So, uh, so if you if you want to go a little bit in details, then I would uh, I would start my screen here. I'll show what is that all. So, so in this screen, I have uh, uh, at the right hand side I have a Dart, I have installed Dart in my PC, right? So right hand side, uh, those are libraries which are available in my system. So it is located at user lib Dart. See if you go into this one and get uh, libraries or uh, binaries available in my system. And this is, in, well, uh, these are, this, this had been installed. Okay, after installation, this is the one. And if we go into uh, left hand side, then this is the SDK source code I have just uh, did cloning. Okay, there is a very fresh clone here. Uh, SDK source code. So if you go here, I can we can see here uh, samples. Um, and in samples, we do have FFI uh, samples as well. All right, so we can see sample FFI data, FFI dynamic functions. So there are uh, quite a few samples we can see and. Those are good enough to start because those are uh, function different kind of different nature of uh, application requirement. Okay, different APIs basically. Uh, if you are whether you want to uh, do synchronous call, asynchronous call, or you want to access uh, some of the uh, 
utilities, right? So or you want callbacks and all, you want to get access to the function structures and all. So those things are available here. Yeah. As an example, you can you can go to it, you can you can look around. Alright, so uh, that's how it is now instead sample. Uh, this is where we are going to sample extension. Uh, these are uh, extension you can you can create even the extensions so i'll be covering these things uh, in separate se separate session to 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 explain a bit more what it is how you can do in your things right so good that you have all the uh, samples available here in fact and the source code is uh, in front of you and you can uh, if you want you can you, know, you can go in a lot more details here but for our interest, I'll just go into SDK here, SDK, SDK, and in this SDK we do have uh, uh, this SDK which is cloned, right? We cloned uh, this SDK, root SDK, this one, and within this SDK do we do have one more SDK. Um, so this is the actual SDK. So if you go inside uh, PN, other is like example libraries and also here we do have different tools which is needed for. If you are using console, right? If you are writing, if you are accessing uh, Dart console, then you have all these tools available here. So, like, if you want to make a Dart package, or if you want to analyze it, or you want to build a JavaScript binding interface, okay, or you want to make native interface uh, Dart native. So many of the tools are available. In fact, I I was uh, going through it uh, even older. Uh, one and the new one here, uh, fresh one. So I can see a lot of updates here and there. Uh, so things are uh, stabilizing. So you can expect. Uh, yeah, I was telling like uh, and this is the first introduction of FFI. So you can you may get some issues maybe because of uh, your PC is different, your operating system uh, in your PC is uh, not compatible. Some kind of issues may you may face, uh, but. Over the time, things will will settle down. Um, yes, uh, but this, the, the provided APIs are good enough for any kind of application, right? Anyways, this is Bing we saw here. So we have uh, go inside lib. We have library. Library. This is not this this SDK. Third SDK is not only for you know, for desktop or mobile. This is also for browser. So we do have a lot of things which we would we would not be using at all if you are working one kind of one nature of device like Dart is supported for Angular, Dart is supported for uh, for mobile devices different. So you, you may not be using all this uh, Angular base if you are working into Angular or web based application. If you are working into web, then you probably will be using many other features from here, right? So we will not be using everything. We will not use JavaScript. We will not use Chrome. Uh, and uh, web, you know, web related stuff here, and those are actually very. Uh, this is those are not new for if you are working into Dart, right? Dart for uh, web, and these things will not be new for you. But if you are working into mobile devices, uh, you, this there are many things you can explore here. All right, so if we go in this part. API readme, we can go there. Sorry, API readme. What is that? So it says this. It will explain what is the uh, Dart core, core functionalities in the next email. I so you can mm, plenty of documentations are available. Like you have what is the platform language and all all those things are available. So if you go into uh, Dart dot dev, uh, you can have the same thing here in the web form, right? So it, Otherwise, you can go, go directly to the source code and access all this. Alright, so this is the source code I wanted to show you. And then, uh, what else? Yeah, here we have um, build.gn. Okay, so gn based build system. So, if you're working into Fuchsia, you will be using gn based build system. I, if you have not gone through, then I have created one session to, to deal with this gn, right? GN compiler, GN meta, meta build system. So you can go through uh, that session. I'll 
otherwise uh, and this is not only for future uh, this future is the one which is coming late in this in this uh, gn world but it was basically made for chrome okay so and uh, chrome os of chrome uh, based uh, chrome is based on uh, gn based uh, metable system all right gn and a ninja combination and same um, build system is uh, getting integrated for compiling fuchsia as well so fuchsia will go and use the same infrastructure created by uh, chrome all right so the, that's the thing here uh, so these are already pretty uh, good enough to uh, to get, get familiar with a bit and i'll show a few more thing here now uh, this is the uh, this this sample application all right so you can find this kind this this basically copy of an application which is available uh, online so i was just trying to compile this one all right so just to check whether things are working in my pc so that i can work with other stuff all right so here uh, i'll just explain what it is and then later on when we'll write a proper application i'll, I'll demonstrate i'll create another uh, video for that so this is here we are importing dart ffi so we are basically uh, as an ffi so that we can use ffi features okay interface and uh, we are creating one signature uh, this is the signature here signature for ffi uh, what is our native uh, signature native is like uh, this is a function with with no argument and there's a void return that means no return type as well so this is just a very simple application very simple function in native code okay native library which doesn't take any argument and, and, and doesn't return as well so that is the signature we are telling uh, uh, we are defining here as type diff and and another one is this this is the hello world this is the and there's the api we are defining for dart okay so this api we have done and what what is the signature of this for this uh, this api uh, for dart uh, or the function so this same uh, because obviously this is the one with uh, with wide wide so it should also be wide if we have a int or a float or any any other signature then corresponding uh, things will come over here also so these two signatures we have created now this we are going to will be going to use but before that as usual we have to first load the native library here so i have i was trying with the dot so uh, by default it will be i mean the way uh, it is being compiled is like uh, dy lib dynamic library okay and i was just checking things around i am still uh, working into it so once i'm done i'll create a separate video for that all uh, right so this is a uh, dynamic library i'm getting a, a pointer of this dynamic library i'll open this library here that means i'll load this library and get this pointer here and then through that i'll look for the uh, node function what is that so i'll use this and look up uh, with uh, with this uh, in the so i'm telling uh, nitty function look up in the nitty function uh, for nitty function is the um, we can use uh, native also there are two api uh, available actually so native or native function we can use and what is the signature what is the this this is the uh, template function uh, template class so we are going to use um, this is the, this is the uh, signature right so this is signature which we are going to look in in the function uh, in the symbol table of this library so in this library we are looking for uh, for this symbol uh, and then we are telling this symbol uh, is uh, is available in the native code with this signature okay this is signature so this this is basically to tell uh, uh, tell dart that what is the signature and once we, this is available we got this hello we can just use this tell this bracket to call that function if we have some argument to pass then we here since we don't have any argument to pass we can use um, in very simple way the way we use in normal any kind of program so we can call in this way so it's very simple uh, the stage steps are very simple here first uh, get uh, get uh, get this one ffi import this ffi and then um, create signature of the native okay uh, 
define basically the signature of the native uh, function so every function we are going to use from native we have to define that signature and then uh, what what APIs we are going to use in this dart so that we define here and then then we load this library and then look for that uh, and that uh, symbol and uh, basically it returns the address in that ban binary right so this is library uh, in that library this when we look for this particular symbol we basically get an address so just execute that address over here while passing if you have to pass some argument we have to pass arguments here so that's how it is uh, it is as simple as that i'll be creating uh, another sample here to let's say this is very uh, needed stuff uh, if you wanted to work uh, with any of the native code like if you wanted to use any of the uh, uh, let's say if you wanted to uh, work with any machine learning right and machine learning um, application and you were not able to access those in dart okay you you, you had that library because many of the uh, machine learning learning algorithms are available in native codes okay and that we can use it and uh, so if you have you can build this kind of interface and you can access those and even if you want to uh, so so the, the, the use case is endless so basically this opens the door to uh, to to the wider spectrum earlier we were able to write on the um, flutter or dart based geo application now we can add more more functionality to the application with this FFI functionality, FFI interface. Alright, this is the one. Um, I think this is good enough. So we got introduced to Dart and Dart FFI and uh, we'll be, uh, we'll be uh, working into this uh, in later sessions. I'll just uh, tell one more thing that uh, this is with Dart 2.5. I I'd installed uh, 2.6 also okay and uh, try to access so everything is not working very seamlessly here uh, because this is new and but there, there may be some very specific uh, requirement by the uh, by the uh, by when we compile the native code so I'm just going through that that so that I'll, you know, I'll settle down with the issues and if you want to um, explore a little bit more about the the libraries okay what all um, uh, SDK APIs you can you can go through like uh, you can go with uh, um, core here or otherwise um, you can go with include you can go with this Dart APIs, Native APIs, and Tool APIs, and so these are uh, these are uh, hidden files, right? So corresponding um, corresponding uh, Dart files will be written here in other places. You can go into lib here. Okay, so lib. What is it? Sorry. And uh, in this, so you can go inside here by and then these are the these are the <coughs> dart files you can go through if you want to get better understanding so you can start from here and then you can go a uh, bit more details what are the tools and all okay so stay tuned i'll be adding few more videos in future